Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about questionable concepts in physics and today I am talking about dark matter. Why is this questionable? Well, first of all, there is some interesting evidence. There is some interesting phenomenology. If you look at the uh, edges of galaxies, you notice one thing that the stars in the outer regions, they move by fast. Uh, they move too fast by far. And, and this is not explained by the gravitational attraction of the galaxy itself. And even if, if you look further out, uh, there, are, there is still motion of, of these um, molecule clouds, which is, which is uh, above the expected. Okay? So you would expect from Keplerian's law that there is a decline of the velocity, but the velocities, the measured velocities at the edges of the galaxies, they all most remain flat. So people are talking about flat rotation curves. And that's the most uh, well, stunning effect and it's confirmed in thousands of galaxies and there is no doubt about this phenomenology. And there's nothing wrong about in first place to think about, oh, there could be extra matter which is not visible that um, causes this, okay? But uh, at the other hand, it's very strange that these rotation curves are very flat and there is a lot of systematics also in there because smaller galaxies has different, uh, have different rotation curves from, from the others and so on and so on. By the way, uh, as a phenomenon it's even more general because uh, even if you look at galaxy clusters uh, or if you look at globular clusters of stars, you notice that the velocities are in general too high uh, than it is explained by the visible mass. Okay, so this is very interesting and certainly something to be explained. And as I said, in first, as a first attempt, it's okay to try uh, it to explain with extra mass. But um, uh, people who are familiar with galaxy dynamics, uh, they don't believe really that this is the, a good solution because there are too many extra effects that uh, should be explained, like uh, Tully Fisher relations and other uh, terms like the, it's called the mass of the black hole is related to the um, velocity dispersion. All this stuff is, um, it's too strange to be explained by just one extra particle, okay? So um, Robert Sanders, a radio astronomer who wrote a very good book about dark matter said that, well, particle physicists are not even um, they're not even interested in, uh, in these uh, details of galaxy dynamics. They're just to try to find this dark matter particle, okay? And uh, yeah, we have uh, of course this uh, big science experiments looking for decades now after the uh, dark matter particle. This is uh, with a, yeah, very unsuc unsuccessfully. Um, there is no hint so far and there is a big methodological problem because um, it's not well defined what they're looking for and um, if you, if you uh, don't specify you can always uh, uh, have excuses that you, why you did not find these dark matter particles. In fact there is not even an upper limit of the energy people are looking for the dark matter particle in the in the high energy physics business and this is a very unhealthy situation this um, in particular in conjunction with these um, high energy physicists that are just um, constructing bigger colliders and ah, we might find something but beyond this something there is nothing specified and they don't know very much about galaxy dynamics yeah, and uh, well, and, and another uh, little annoying aspect is that once in a while you find, oh, we have evidence, maybe for the first time, direct evidence for the dark matter phenomenon. No, it's all indirect, if ever, and the best evidence is, as I said, is uh, rotation curves of galaxies, but all the other stuff is um, of the type there is a problem and dark matter might be the culprit. Like, uh, we can't explain how galaxies form in the early universe. 
okay, there had to be concentrations of dark matter, but this is not an explanation. It's just um, one more free parameter uh, you fiddle around with, okay? And so uh, dark matter is, uh, well, just one parameter in an unhealthy model of cosmology with many parameters and, uh, as I said, serves uh, as a pretext for um, useless big science, ex big science experiments. So if you really want to understand fundamental physics, look at uh, this uh, situation where it occurs, the phenomenon, and it's, um, it's um, mostly at very uh, small accelerations. That's interesting. And, uh, but uh, hunting for the dark matter particle is not really a good idea. If you like the video, don't forget to give the thumb up. And if you are interested in fundamental questions, subscribe to this channel.